students participate in what's called a zoom in inquiry, which is simply putting together a PowerPoint that's looking at a cartoon in small pieces, looking at a specific part of the cartoon and not the entire image, and revealing slowly the entire image to them, thereby eliciting responses about um, more specific pieces of the cartoon to engage in some hypothesis making and think about what's coming next and what they expect to see in the rest of the cartoon. So I want you to determine what you see and what questions you might ask to get the bigger picture here. Okay. Describe who you see. The U.S. conscience. It's like Uncle Sam and But then. What do we think we're going to see next? Some dudes or what's on top of the so Mike, at the top of the you're expecting to see some things up here, all right? Well, let's find out. What new things do you see? Nothing. The top of the ditch. The top of the ditch. Kyle? It's like the top part of the ditch. And it looks like some grass on top of the Well, that's also many of the dudes in this shape. All right, so light and dark is being used. Perhaps uh, this looks like the top of the ditch. It seems like he's down quite a way. Like just below the grassy stuff, it looks like it's sort of like two walls pretty close together, snaking off. Mm -hmm. that's like, what was described in some of that testimony? Going into some kind of trenchy. The, yeah, this so idea. they were throwing them in the ditch. That there might, there was a trench involved in this whole thing, right? Hmm. We might want to make sense of that. Well, let's make a hypothesis. Why this person is on the ground? I think that it's it's talking about how um, the U.S. conscience um, like died in the Malay incident, and that um, possibly that there wasn't really morality in Vietnam for Seems to be seeing that like some loss of morality that U.S. conscience says died here. All right, huh. Casey? I think it goes like maybe one step further and it's saying that the U.S. soldiers actually killed the U.S. conscience during their actions in my life since... Maybe who we're going to see up here are... The U.S. So, soldiers, US soldiers? Like, pointing guns at the dead body. What new things do you see? Casey? Politicians. Um, well, there are people throwing up confetti, waving American flags, and Somebody's holding up one of those like sort of protest board things, so. Now, what questions do you need to ask then to get a closer, uh, get closer to the meaning of this whole cartoon? What questions, Jake? What are they really cheering for? What are they really cheering for? Great who question. Andrew. Who are they? Who are these people? <laughs> Good. And let's see then if we can get yeah. an answer to that. Huh. Now, what do you see? Um, that they believe he did the right thing and they're happy with him. Okay, so the... Support him in his decision, or, or maybe they don't support him in his decision, but they believe that he shouldn't be sentenced the way he was, I guess. Hmm. So it might be a that these people <coughs> aren't supporting the decision, that they're with Lieutenant Callie, that they don't like the... the um, the decision of the court. Hmm. Well, it seems like they're reminding to the dead, to the person in the ditch. The it, it looks like it's Uncle Sam, you know, just because of the heading at the top. Okay. They don't, they don't see what really happened at Mile. They just see this guy, you know, this lieutenant in the army who seemingly did something really patriotic, and, you know, uh, killed a bunch of s stupid North Vietnamese enemy people, and they don't see that he just massacred civilians slowing down the process of, of looking at the cartoon really helps students examine more closely details that you as a teacher want to pick out and have them examine. Instead of jumping in and looking at an entire cartoon at once and being bogged down by the overwhelming details of it, taking students through the process of examining pieces of a cartoon allows them to process the cartoon in a more logical manner. And, and to develop greater understanding for them.